Wario, stop falling on your head. It's uncouth. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I heard that this ice world that's coming, well, I should say ice level, that's coming up next is a doozy. But I certainly hope it's not anywhere as much of a doozy to me as that circus level was. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. Oh, it was just horrible. <laughs> so this is the Shivering Mountains in Thrillsville, I guess. Apparently, according to this pop-up sign. Um, oh, I guess you get yourself stuck in snow if you miss... <laughs> well, if you get yourself, you know, in the snow, you get the idea. I figured there'd be something up here because there's a spring, obviously. Hey, what is... Can you punch that? <laughs> I would like to know if you can... Yeah! No, you just go right through it. Okay. What is, is there anything in here? Nah, I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Can I punch some stuff? Other stuff? That would be pretty nice. Can I walk off the edge? No. Oh my. This kind of level design, I really hope there isn't stuff that's missable. Like that yellow switch up there. I hope I didn't miss that for good. But it looks like there's another path around, so... Oh... That is not going to be pretty if that really is the case. Oh, how do I... Am I actually supposed to go around the snow paths? And, are these flying snowmen? <laughs> how weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm supposed to use the snow to get around here. That means I want to go up see daisy There we go. And back around to the switch, hopefully. There we go. Now we can move on from here, I, I think, there's... Oh, wow. This this place has got a lot of, uh... Odd... Wait, actually, that, that might help me if you take me up there. Grab me again. What? I said grab me again, you disappear. How dare you? <laughs> uh, garlic man's getting quite pricey. Uh, how do I get up there? That would be very nice to know. <laughs> that might be a possibility. I can hit guys in midair. That's not very helpful, though. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Am I really gonna have to get somebody to... Because I don't think I can grab that thing. Is there a way up from here? Or something? Should I... Am I supposed to bounce on the thing? Like a... You know, one of those flying guys? It, it feels like I'm supposed to be able to get there from somewhere. Maybe I was supposed to use the ramp to get up on top of a house? I definitely can't leave this spot until I figure it out, obviously. Can't get on top of the roof from there, apparently. <laughs> Pick me up. Pick me up. And see if I can get up there. Can you pick me up? I don't think you're capable of picking me up, are you? <laughs> hmm. Can I climb trees? Wow, slag? That's kind of weird. Must be a lot of stuff on the screen over there, huh? Is it really possible to get on top of one of those glue globe? I mean, get on top of that glue globe in general? Or can I, like, go up the hill? <laughs> it certainly seems like there is another spot that I could walk onto if I got up there. Maybe I'll just leave that for now and move on. Like, for all I know, there is a secondary path up there. What is in here? Nothing, really? <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, but okay. There... Is there anything inside any of those igloos? I don't... No. Hmm. Oh, there's a boss battle, I suppose. Uh, I bet I have to throw barrels at him, Donkey Kong style. Well, barrel so... Men? Uh, I bet... Oh, maybe it's that feeler... Eh, you know, the light on its antenna there that I'm supposed to throw a thing at. Pick up and throw. Oh. <laughs> Come on, give me. And throw. No? Really? What do you want from me, man? That went right through the feeler. <laughs> and, eh. I think that went under at that time. <laughs> One more hit. Let's try it again. Eh. That's really weird. <laughs> Am I just supposed to hit the... F like, punch it in midair or something like that? No. And those things don't hurt in the slightest, by the way, if you didn't notice that. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to roll one of these explosive thingies in its mouth? Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't remember this boss at all. Well, mini boss. Certainly not hard to get the hang of its attack pattern, that's for sure. <laughs> it's like the most basic of basic, and even those things don't hurt, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, do a slam or something at the antenna? Like, maybe... Uh, okay. I don't know what that was. Now we are in a bullet hell game. <laughs> Well, that worked, apparently, so I guess I'm going to be slamming... Ow. I did not know you guys could even attack me. <laughs> you guys are that pathetic. Yeah, I guess that's how you do it. You're supposed to slam at that antenna thing. Eh, eh, eh. Not hard to dodge this, but it's certainly an impressive-looking attack. One more time! Oh, maybe it's just a shockwave that hits someone. It's not hitting the antenna in general. Well, okay. Well, now that I beat him, I can go back, I suppose, or up this hill and avoid these abominable snowman imitations. What do you have? Uh, it would have been pretty nice <laughs> if I would have known that earlier. So I guess its antenna is the weak point. Well, I figured it out anyway. <laughs> Now I'm going to go over to the right, hopefully, from somewhere. Maybe it's possible to get on top of on top of there from here because I'm I, I'm still missing whatever's up there. <laughs> Is it possible to like? No, I thought like maybe I could break down a building or something like that, so I could climb on top of it. Well, actually, maybe that wouldn't be such a, a bad plan. Let me try to do a power throw at it. That was a complete and total miss. <laughs> yeah, because there's no other way up there other than... Is it really that slippery slope that I was supposed to use to get up there? Because if so, I've missed out on something until I use that balloon at the beginning of the level. Then I'll have to trek all the way back over there and... Eh. Alright, I'll just move on for now. Oh, and it's another slope. Alright, I'm gonna move the camera ahead of me. There's a heart fragment over there on the left side. That's good to know. Ah, looks like I'm gonna have to take two runs through this level. I see why this one's a doozy, because of the fact that you can easily miss stuff. And you guys are not really all that powerful. Oh, there we go. I, I was looking for someone I can swing around. Yeah! I said I was looking for someone I can swing around. <laughs> now I gotta get a safe distance. Auto spin. Give me more! Yeah! Oh my, who are you? Oh, it's another imitation Triceratops. There's a lot of enemy reskins. <laughs> I truly am doing the best I can do at this point, <laughs> but there isn't really much that you can do in these battle arena things other than just attacking with all of your heart and soul. <laughs> can I? Oh, yeah. oh, whatever. They're done. <laughs> ah, tasty pocket change. But dang it! Ah, it's so sucky to miss two things by now because of those slopes. But I gotta remember to stay towards the left side on my way back through this level to be able to get them. Betcha that's a switch that... Surprise attack, icicle men. Not really all that threatening, though. <laughs> you guys kind of disappoint me, but whatever. Can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there. Well, I can get up there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wanted to do that thing. Okay, this may take a few tries. I think. Woo! Okay, maybe not. Wait, was I supposed to get over here from the other side, or could I? Oh, I was actually supposed to do it that way. Well, whatever. <laughs> I need you to go down here. There we go. Wow! What do we have this time? Looks like another one of those block puzzle things. That moves. Oh. They're all moving platforms, aren't they? 
I don't mind doing jumps like that when they're moving. Uh, and this one's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's like moving. Oh no, it is, it is just moving in like a circle. I, I thought it was moving in and out, but it was just a perspective thing. I didn't miss anything, did I? I really hate to miss something. <laughs> since I already missed two things in the level already due to the fact that I didn't know I was supposed to be at a certain part of the slope. It's kind of cheapo if you ask me. Alright, so do I want to jump down there or do I want to continue above? I probably want to be above. Yeah, these, I knew these looked grabbable. Alright, well, there's a purple switch. Does that, does that go for the other thing? I mean, the treasure chest on this side? I think it does. No, like, that's a blue one, okay. So, oh man, this is a puzzling level. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna have to take a couple runs through this level, like, by it, its sheer design, because of the fact that you can easily miss anything anytime. It looks like I'm supposed to jump down there now, but yeah, if I, if I jumped down there earlier, I wouldn't be able to get back up there, so it's definitely a good idea to stay on the upper path, if at all possible. This level is quite tricky indeed, and I bet you that's, if I jump down there, it'll lead me to one of those sewer areas. I just want to check it out. Oh my. Thin pathways. This is getting tricky, but I still want to see if there's anything in these sewer areas in general. So I'm going to go through them. I should say I'm going to go through all the boxes. Well, actually, they're more like crates than boxes. But then again, a crate is a box, so I'm not all that far off. <laughs> uh, yeah, it never seems like there's anything inside these sewer areas, so I should probably just skip past them. And... Boop! I did pretty well on that one, despite it being a thin pathway area. Alright, what is this? Oh, it actually follows you? That's weird. <laughs> it must be magnetic to humans or something like that. Oh, I see, there's a little guy underneath it. Okay. Oh, I need a thing. Didn't notice that when I was up there. I could use this, I think, because I can jump normally with that, right? Yeah. That, what? What? I called blasphemy on that. <laughs> Please don't tell me I needed that for that switch over there. There must be something. Actually, what? Huh? Am I, what am I supposed to do for all of that poop? I, I can't seem to, like, break. Can I, like. No? Oh, you charge! Okay. Oh, these are like little Koopa guys. Okay, so now I know that you have to charge to get through those guys. That'll make things a whole lot easier. Just hold the R button to charge if you don't remember that. Alright, flipping platforms. This makes me wary if there's anything on the underside of things. So I'm just going to let it do a uh, full 360 before I get on top of it. Uh, okay, it looks okay. So I'm going to now wait until it flips to 45 degrees and then get on top. Good. Look out for anything of interest. Mm, I don't see any heart fragments nestled within the coins. So let's just move on! And groove on! Oh jeez! That was so close! I almost got it on my first try. <laughs> That's another run. Should do it, I think. This isn't that hard, actually. Mm, woo! Oh, that actually works a whole lot better. <laughs> Faddingtons? Are they talking about the... Those... Guys with the icicles on their backs? I don't think so, because they don't seem all that chunky. These things, that Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for making you squeal with fear, but I'm gonna need you to hit that switch. Thank you. <laughs> And that means I can break that too, right? And that does absolutely nothing for me, does it? That's a totally different colored switch. Dang it! One's lime green, one's teal. Ah, such confusion. Wait, was I supposed to get on top of that platform, like, from down here? Or is that just the way back? This looks... It feels to me like that's a way back. 
Like, maybe I wasn't supposed to jump on top of that from up there or something like that. I don't... Yeah, that's definitely a way back. Now, how do I get up there? <laughs> Can I, like... Yeah! No, I didn't think so. Oh, that actually works. <laughs> didn't expect that. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> you... Oh, they do want me to go through the stage twice. So it is a natural setup for them to be... That is mean. <laughs> okay. So I need two icicle guys to get up there, and I think I messed up my chance because of the way that was set up. So I'm gonna... No, I can't reset the area unless I get a thing. Like one of these... I know I can get down these trapdoors with, with a Wario head. There you go, see? I don't know why it didn't work before. Reset. See, what I want to do back at the other spot is to uh, use both Icicle guys to get up to the top. Just one at a time. Because there's only two here, as you can tell. So I'm going to have to do it like this. Just jab them into the ground. And quickly grab the other one. And climb up there before that one disappears. Yeah! And there we go. Yeah, awesome. Now, what is up here? A climbable bridge. Is this the way forward, or is it... I think this is the way forward, actually. No. Yeah, there's more stuff down there, so I'm gonna have to do that one more time. Curses! <laughs> Unless that's just a side route. But I'll be able to reset that later. I'm sure there's going to be another trapdoor of sorts. Okay, there's the actual green switch. So I'll, I'll then... Oh, these guys must be the fatty things that'll knock you off the edge. Okay. Oh, so that's what that switch leads me to. Good. I wonder if I should even bother going back because, you know, I'm going to have to do a second run through this level anyway. Because, you know, sheer design. Wow, it feels like it's splitting off into multiple pathways now. Alright, give me a guy I can pick up. Because I need to hit that switch. <laughs> you know? Well, that switch is hit. Good. Uh, hmm. This, this place is confusing like poop. <laughs> Like, did I want to take the other pathway around here? I, I certainly can walk along it. Oh, okay, that just leads me back to the other side. So, the, this is a really neatly designed area, though. Okay, now, I'm, now I seem to be going back outside. So, was that other path really a split path? Or was it a... Like, when I climbed up to the top using those icicle guys, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have explored that a little bit more instead of dismissing it as being a way out of the caves so soon. Hey! Oh, I see. I'm normally supposed to use you to get in here. I just use this. <laughs> Alright, what do we have this time? Me almost falling somehow. <laughs> Good thing for Wario's sticky fingers, eh? What is that block? I don't know. I don't trust it, though. Seems to be a normal block, actually, so perhaps I should trust the blocks. Eh. Heart fragment and a red jewel. Well, red crystal. And I guess that's it. Hmm. It's a pretty simple area. A lot more simple than I would expect from this. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the icicles. And explore that upper area on the other side. And then collect the treasure down back on the left path. You come over here. Yes, you. Over here. I don't want to kill you via shockwave. Okay. I hope this is close enough to the wall. Because I remember I just barely made it the other time. Okay. It's not that, not that hard to get up there once you know what to do. Okay. So you got switch. Okay, I don't need help for that switch. <laughs> Preferably you, just because I see you and you're easier than the club guy. Okay, that's hit. And I know this leads to the heart fragment, because it's a bridge. Yeah, this is definitely a dead-end, just secret type of area thingy. Is there anything... Oh, no, it's just a crystal reflecting that guy's hat. 
Um, oh, so that's what that switch leads to. I mean, if that's what that switch opens or unlocks, whatever. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Uh, is that all that's up here? It certainly feels like that. I can't grab onto the roof, so I've tried that before, way back in the first area, if you remember me flailing around, but it doesn't look like there's anything up there anyway, so let's go back down! And, wait, 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 I wanted to go towards the left side first, because there's a little bit more... Well, Okay, I got a little reckless there. <laughs> At least I... I know there's nothing down here besides coin stealing critters. And why do those guys like get all stunned? Is it the flash of my punch or something like that that scares them? No! Let me go and let me out of here. Oh, this place is a lot harder when you're fumbling around. <laughs> eh, eh. Well, you don't really lose all that many coins from these guys, do you? <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're afraid of your punches or lights that you make, or something like that. I never noticed that before. Oh, there we go. Doesn't really matter, we're out of here. Woo! Uh, so this leads to... Yeah, that's the dead-end place. And then I have to go around... to the left from here. Oh, hey! Is that charged into you? What are you talking about? Um... <laughs> Here, there we go. That treasure's collected. Now, I, I just want to go down the lower routes here. Just to see if there's anything... I, I'm pretty sure this just leads to the other place. Okay, that just... Yeah, you need to use those guys to get up there. Is there a switch down here that, like... Or something like that that, I, that I'm looking for? Is that why there, this path is here? Oh, it's one of these. Good thing I checked down here. Uh, okay, what do these do? Something tells me it's a hit him in the order thing. Yep. <laughs> Good old visual cues. And this is like a neato little cabin area. Hmm. Getting more and more creative with those little uh, red crystal areas. Ah, don't knock me off, please. Alright, let's move on. And groove on. Hmm. I don't think there's anything more in this area. But I know there's some stuff I missed at the beginning, alas. And that, that um, a sprightling guy hinted at that as well, so... I'm gonna have to go through this level twice by sheer design just to make sure that I didn't miss anything back at the beginning. What am I supposed to do about you guys? You are terribly in the way. <laughs> I tried to like squish it, but that doesn't work at all. Come on, find the spring quickly already. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so I know there's something... What did that guy say about the springy thing? Hmm. Yeah, you can check logs by the spritelings just by going into your menu. Hmm. So it wasn't one of those guys that told me about the chunky guys here? Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I bet you I need something to, like, knock them off, because they seem impervious to my usual assaults. So I'm going to carry this back with me to that upper area, and see what this unlocks if I defeat him, hopefully. Aha! And now you know. <laughs> Okay, what is up here anyway? Is this like just a way back? Oh, it leads up! Dang it! <laughs> what a waste of time! Because that leads up to the outdoor area up there that I thought was the way forward. And Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Don't know why I have to explain that, but I feel the need to anyway for some reason. Um, 
Looks like I just jumped down here, and that seems to be about it. Uh, I might as well get some garlic. As I said, I like to try to play a little less reckless, per se. There we go. Let's climb up the st Ugh! steep slope here and apparently run ahead of them because they're going to be terribly in your way if you don't. Oh my. <laughs> okay, jump when they crisscross over each other. Eat! Very simple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not want to fall there. <laughs> Good. I think that's it. There, there only seems to be like one of each in those trapdoor areas. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be another battle arena, isn't it? Yep! Alright, grab ourselves a pillar and start swinging! Yeah! I think that auto swing starts happening when you start flashing blue. So I think that's your cue to just let go of the, I mean, stop spinning the control stick and then start aiming yourself to whack enemies with whatever you're holding. Can I spin you around? This is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Yes, I can! And... come on! You are quite handy for killing other enemies, so I would like to... Wait, nothing? Really? I have to kill all of them off before I can... Oh, whatever. Fine, I'll just punch you guys without anything. I don't need any other blubbery guys. I've got enough on my bones. Yeah. Two seconds! Kill him! Up! Yeah! Oh, I missed that one guy at the, at the very end there. I even gotten a bigger prize than that, I think, in, the, in those battle arena type areas. So, hmm. Let's look around and... Oh, you again! You again! Well, at least I know how to deal with you this time. <laughs> Voila! That works lovely. And that was Gradius style. It's really easy to dodge that, despite how it looks. Just gotta go... Only move when you have to, basically. That's, that's the key to playing any sort of shooter kind of game like that. Oh, needless to say, when you get froze by one of those icicle things, if you get froze by one of them, just shake the control stick and mash buttons, you'll get free of it pretty quickly. Just like that. Hey, you take more hits than the other one, apparently? Well, okay. I wonder if those things are supposed to hurt you. I'm pretty sure I brushed up against a couple of them. Oh, I see how I'm hurting the antenna thing. The head of that snowman pops up when I jam, jam it into the ground, like this. See the head of it go up like that? Okay. And now- oh no! Not another slope! Please tell me it's- oh, okay. I was a little worried there. I thought it was gonna be one of those- Are you gonna try and freeze me or something? I thought it was gonna be another one of those you-can't-go-back type of slopes. And apparently you can fall off the edge here. <laughs> I hope this doesn't take me back to the underground cave area. <laughs> Where is the invisible wall when I need it? <laughs> the invisible wall is never there when you need it. Never! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it just pops me back right here, okay. I bet you I have to do that to hurt you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just noticed that it's got like a button on its head. It just felt that way. What's up here? Is there anything up here? No, it looks like it just stops right there. Alright, so what's in here? Pocket change. And the purple treasure chest, apparently. With a bowl. Oreo is not very careful with his fine china. Uh, did I miss anything anywhere? No? Okay. Oh, no! Okay, since I've been going along the front on my first run through these places, I'm gonna go on the front on all of them. 
Okay, that's heart fragment there. Was I supposed to switch over to the right side? I feel like I should have switched to the right side there. Oh, and I'm at the end of the stage. Because there's the balloon to take you back to the uh, beginning. Oh, and there's the pink treasure chest. I'm going to be using that in just a second. And then cutting over to the various areas that I've missed some poop. Okay. Let's first go down here. And wow. This is intimidating. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, not all that difficult to picture. Ow. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> uh, that apparently is the name of the boss, the Winter Winster. Hmm. Don't look at its eyes. I will try to remember that. And I don't see anything other than those guys of interest, so let's get out of here. And now let's go down the left side and see if there's anything I missed. No, those slopes are just there to be hindering to you. Oh, I notice you take five to get into the boss's lair this time. I know I have five for sure. But I have to go back and get some other stuff, which is probably down the other places. You know, the ones that I missed on my way here. So, since I'm forced to do it, back to the beginning we go. This place isn't all that hard to get through, but it is a little bit cumbersome. Alright, so, now that we're here, they said there was something at the beginning that is of interest. But this is right at the beginning, so... Uh, or maybe I'm actually supposed to beat the level and then come back or something. Well, anyway, I'm going to take the right route this time. Mm -hmm. Aha! So that is how you get up here. Well, first let's get down into this trapdoor. And... Do I have to, like, break it down to me? Yeah, looks, that's what it looks like. Just gotta... That's what I gotta say, carefully knock it down here. Wah! Uh, is there any anything that I'll miss if I don't break all the poopers? I doubt it. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything like right where I'm standing inside the middle of the, blo the blocks. Can you get hurt by the fire? No, you can't. Just wanted to try that for fun. Alright. If I need to use cuts, I'll definitely use cuts, but I don't see the need for it just yet. Okay, so there's a completely separate path up here. You know, I should probably try and learn how to defeat these guys. I'm supposed to pick it up from the gun barrel then? Or am I just supposed to... Or can I only stun these guys? You get out of my way, I'm getting tired of you. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that can only stun them, but wow, there's like a whole other system up here. Of Christmas tree! Ah, Christmas trees! How high can you go? Maybe this is what they were hinting at that was way at the beginning here? Or something? I don't know. I'm just taking all the high places first. There's the there's a heart fragment. I don't know how many I need to go, but hmm. I'm just trying to Oh, there's a treasure chest there. I didn't see that at all! It's hidden beneath the leaves. Oh, there's... Okay, that's the slope that leads up here. That's, that was from the icy slope that I had. No other choice but to keep moving in that direction. You have no control over Wario on those slopes other than just left and right and you can jump. But it's not like you can go up, up by your own free will. Let me... <laughs> Who knew it was so hard to get up? Oh, you're supposed to use... I'm, well, actually, I'm pretty sure I got everything up here, so what am I worried about? I don't know. Probably because, as I said, I heard this level was pretty bad when you're trying to 100% it. Alright, I'm going to trust that I got everything up there and get myself electrocuted. <laughs> Not on purpose, though, but at least I'm being truthful here. <laughs> And get up here, and now I want to go over to the next slope. And then again, take the one, I mean, take the path closer to the wall. I think it's, yeah, it's right here. 
So I want to start off like right. Time. Ah, missed the heart fragment right there. So I'm gonna have to take another run through this level apparently. Uh, how, how close am I to finishing that statue? I don't know. Probably like two more. And this leads me back. I, I've still yet to find the blue switch. That's uh, pretty irritating. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start using cuts from here on out. Alright, here's the last slope. And I'm pretty sure this just leads me back to the end of the level. Yeah, except this takes you to the upper path instead of the lower path, so I'm gonna have to go through the level one more, one more time for that heart fragment. And I still have yet to find the blue switch, obviously, because I haven't shown you it in a cut. Oh man, but what did they mean by there was something at the beginning that was important? What Were they really talking about the, those trees, you know, the Christmas trees in, in general? Well, or am I supposed to do ski jumps? I don't know, but I didn't even bother taking the upper path that time because of the fact that I've already been up there and I know I cleared it. So it's like, meh, whatever. But I, I want to show that one heart fragment over to the right side here. I wonder how close I have to be to the edge to get it though. Ah, I missed it again. <sighs> Man, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Something new? Something new? Hello there! What's my prize for defeating you and your brethren of buddies? Is there anything for defeating you, or did I just bypass this on my other runs? I... <laughs> yes, my best comment for that was saliva. <laughs> Although this one's a whole lot more aggressive than the other ones. Seemingly because of the excess of enemies. And let's kill them off. Good. Anything! Anything! Nothing, really? Hmm. <laughs> oh, was that the thing that I missed before? Because this does feel like... This is a different path. Here's the blue switch, which is... Which unlocks that thing later in the level. And that takes me down to a lower area. Okay. I'm on to something now. I am definitely on to something. So there was a secondary path on that slope. Alright. This pleases me greatly. Wait, 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 wait. Seen that? So that's what that treasure is. And I know where the blue one is now. Uh, where is this? Just dead end, really? Uh... This certainly is a very puzzling level, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, anything under here? Doesn't look like it. They never seem to hide anything under these statues unless it's in one of those uh, trapdoor areas. Get stunned. Let me up here, please. So that one heart... And how many more heart fragments do I have? I bet you it's just that one. No, wait, wait, there's, there's one for his body and one for his leg. Okay, so there's probably two heart fragments left. Apparently, I can get pretty high up on this thing. I don't know where this is leading me, though. It's definitely leading me somewhere different. Oh, maybe there's a heart fragment in this trapdoor. And there's some glue globes down there. Interesting. Ah, I knew that's how you were going to do it. <laughs> oh, that's the last Spriteling. Oh, so that's where the hint to use those icicle guys is. Okay. Alright, so anything else of interest in here? I don't think so. It's a pretty straightforward area. Just jump right off the sides of the platforms to get up there. Obviously, if you go up the front, you're not going to be able to get bypass that. So it was lucky that I picked, you know, the side over the front when I got up there. All right, moving on. I think glue globe. Like to jump down from these just to see what's here. If there is anything here, I don't think there is. Why? Why is this thing here? It doesn't seem like there's anything of importance. 
Well, I have one treasure left. And, oh no wait, it is, it is just that one heart fragment that's left, because on that statue, Wario's feet are in the air, they're not on the ground. Okay, so it probably is just that last one, and then I'll have the level completed. <sighs> Man, this is a toughie. <laughs> okay, now, if I were to use this block here, does this take me back to the normal area? Yes, it does. And this is the last treasure chest, right? Yes! Alright, so now I gotta go all the way back around the level and hopefully, hopefully, finally get that heart fragment that's on the slope. So I'll see you then. Alright, here I am back at slope number two. Hopefully for that heart fragment. Okay. Yes! Stage is now 100%ed, so now all I have to do is get to the end of the level. I will see you there. And here we are. I almost grabbed onto that balloon if you didn't see that. I believe I've got absolutely everything. So let's go down and visit the boss. By the way, this recording is sitting at 48 minutes on my camera. <laughs> so that, that should give you an idea of just how long it took me to do this. My god, that's freaky. This is nightmare fuel for sure. <laughs> Alright, so you've got a body of sorts. I get squished. I can pick up the balls. I probably have to do something with the balls. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't remember this boss in the slightest. Can I throw it at you? Wait, wait. Did I go inside the crater? I... Oh, okay. I see. You're supposed to throw it in the crater when it's about to go above it. Like this. And then it'll take a hit from the fire, right? Yes. Well, kind of. Okay, I just gets, gotta add that onto it, apparently. Well, that's not too hard. So I'll just throw it in there. Wait a bit. And it missed. That's okay. I just gotta throw it in, inside a crater a little bit ahead of time. Wow, this is... This is really spooky. <laughs> well, I remember they said do not look into its eyes when it's... I didn't, I didn't think I was looking into its eyes. <laughs> as, as you'll notice, I turned away from the camera. Maybe I let, I mean, I looked into its eyes long enough. What is, so I guess it's like a Medusa type of boss thingy with Bowser Shockwave from Super Mario 64. Aha! <laughs> How do you like them apples? Alright, just gonna throw, oops. Are these craters getting taller? I think they're getting a little taller as I go, actually. Yeah. Well, that apparently worked. I, I think. Uh, did it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep moving on, I suppose. This is a rather interesting boss. It's got a lot of attacks. I'm surprised I don't remember the bosses all that well. Usually, bosses are like the most memorable things to me. And they end up, uh, you know, really, ah, really making me focus on pattern recognition and whatnot. Oh, poopers! <laughs> so I guess once it leaves the arena, it's capable of regenerating itself, apparently. Alright, get yourself stunned again. Well, it's not getting itself stunned, it's me stunning it via the ginormous explosions of fire. Okay, it's not that big. Okay, don't look in its eyes. Don't look in its eyes. I turned away from the TV. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually turn away from the TV, but... Wait, what are you doing? No, shockwaves! Curse you! Ow! Oh, different patterns of shockwaves, too. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Get yourself stunned so I can kill you! 100% of the stage! At the same time. Woo! 
Man, what a stage! But I still managed to 100% it on my first try through it, even if I had to, like, you know, go back to the beginning using that uh, balloon. But wow, that was... that was pretty fun. It was a really cool looking stage, too, especially in the ice cave areas. They're really beautiful. And this part has gone on long enough, obviously! <laughs> so I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Yes, please.